Hi there, Fidelia from the Quickly team. Welcome back to another exciting Thursday theme day, where we showcase our latest design. Today, I will be sharing with you my latest Violetta design layout available in the Quickly Design Library. And later on, I will be showing you how to add an animation and scroll to your blocks to create a dynamic design. Let's take a look at it. This week, we wanted to give you something fresh and new. This is a design for those who are not afraid of color or large headings and like to express their brand identity through bold choices. Our striking and nearly piercing yellow does a great job of potentially awakening the interest of users and making them want to continue to explore this environment. Once again, we like to keep our designs subtle and not too overbearing for our users. So instead of making it obvious, that our yellow color is in our background, except for the hero, our yellow color only appears softly and smoothly on hover. It creates a nice dynamic while also keeping the design seemingly neutral. But the most challenging part of any design is to make sure it is coherent and isn't all over the place. Since we chose such a striking yellow and prominent headings, we found it important to keep our elements simple and connected by keeping a similar structure of columns throughout the design. We also managed to keep a similar look between our different elements by uniting them in the way they appear and disappear with the use of scrolling animations. This adds a bit more interest and appeal instead of them just staying flatly on the page. However, never get carried away with these animations because in too great presence, they can quickly be irritating and obstruct site accessibility and fluidity. Less is always more when it comes to scrolling animations. Now I will be showing you how easy it is to add scrolling animations to any block. Here we are in the Gutenberg editor and in our designs footer element. We will be adding a scrolling animation to our blocks. We could have chosen a different element, such as our images that have a scrolling animation. However, they are repetitive and very easy to set up. The goal of our scrolling animation is for when we scroll down to this element, our columns appear after a few seconds, followed by our separator and lastly by our div block. In order for them to appear one after the other, our blocks will have exactly the same animation but it will be delayed a few seconds in order to create the desired effect. So let's start by adding our scrolling animation to our columns. I decided to add the animation individually to every column to help create the effect of smooth apparition. Let's select our first column and head to the Advanced tab and into the Animation on Scroll tab. Looking at these different settings can be overwhelming, especially without a visual representation of what everything does. So if like me you build better visually, click on the quick set icon and as you can see, every animation can be seen visually. Let's select fade up small for a nice subtle look. As you can see, the quick set not only lets you visually see the animation, but also sets default properties that help quicken the time to add them. Next, let's give it a 0.8 seconds duration. I will repeat the same process for my other columns, but I will delay my second column by 2 seconds and my third by 0.4 seconds to help contribute to the smooth apparition of a columns block. We will repeat the same process for our separator and delay it by 0.6 seconds And lastly, do the same for our div and delay by 0.8 seconds. As you can see, this is very simple to set up and gives your design the dynamic it needs to feel modern and interactive. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't hesitate to drop a comment and see you soon. Bye.